Hard as it may be to believe, but the incoming presidential-elect Joe Biden now has a career in public office dating back over 44 years. That's close to double my age. Throughout that entire time, he's had the nickname Middle Class Joe and has often referred to himself as one of the poorest members of Congress. All my time in public life, from I've gotten involved, I've been referred to as Middle Class Joe. It's not always meant as a compliment. These days, he's definitely not the poorest member of Congress with multiple real estate holdings like a few in Delaware and living in lavish homes throughout the years, which we'll check out in this video. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, these do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Joe Biden comes from scrappy roots. He was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania, to a father that suffered a series of financial setbacks. And for a short time there, at least, Joe wasn't any different. According to the Wall Street Journal, the reason why Biden was so often at the bottom of the wealth ladder among his other colleagues in the Senate had a lot to do with his lifelong obsession for real estate. He wrote in his autobiography, Promises to Keep, even as a kid in high school, I'd been seduced by real estate. As a youngster in his 20s, Biden began buying up homes, especially ones outside of his budget, taking out multiple mortgages and receiving loans against life insurance policies. As he grew older, his net worth was often in the negatives, and by 2007, he was ranked as the least wealthy senator in the US when his net worth was estimated to be less than $30,000. But today, the 77-year-old presidential elect is far from middle class. According to a 2019 Forbes estimate, Biden and his wife Jill are now worth as much as $9 million, much of which was earned from $100,000 speaking fees and $8 million book deals that came pouring in after his vice presidency. About $4 million of his over overall net worth is estimated to be wrapped up in his current real estate holdings, two homes that he owns in Delaware, and today I'm going to tell you not only about them, but a couple others he's lived in over the years too. How's it going guys and gals? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to be taking a look at the homes of presidential elect Joe Biden, and while we don't have a whole lot to share with you in terms of the current interiors of these homes, I I've still got all the details you could want along with some juicy gossip. So if you've ever wanted to know how Joe Biden lives by the end of this video, you will. As always, let me know what you think by following me on Instagram or dropping your thoughts in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with the Biden's main home, located in Wilmington, Delaware. The house is situated to overlook a man-made lake that was created by the wealthy members of the DuPont family. Local real estate agents called this area one of the most expensive in the state, and it's known as Chateau Country thanks in large part to a group of massive colonial estates that were built in the area also by the DuPont family. Joe and Jill first purchased the four acres of land that this home sits on back in 1996 for $350,000. Soon after, they built a 6,850 square foot home on the premises, which is now estimated to be worth somewhere in the $1 million to $2 million range. During his vice presidency, it was reported that Joe rented out the cottage located in the property to the Secret Service for $220 a month. I don't know how smart it is to make the people protecting you pay for the opportunity to do so, but one look at his bank account tells us it clearly worked out for him. A few years back when Joe's son Bo was valiantly fighting against brain cancer, Joe considered selling this home to help pay for the treatment, but he was discouraged from doing so by a pretty surprising source, President Barack Obama. President Obama offered to lend him the money instead. The Bidens are reportedly seen around town here a whole bunch, spending time at the local grocery store Jansen's Market, which is only a five minute drive from their home. They also attend the St. Joseph on the Brandywine Roman Catholic Church nearby. Before we move on to Biden's vacation home, I thought we'd take a quick look at Joe's former home located in the neighborhood of Greensville, Delaware, that recently came back to bite the president-elect a little bit. As you can see, the Trump family called this estate into question during the most recent election cycle, questioning how old middle class Joe could afford such a nice estate. But here's the thing, he doesn't own it, at least not anymore. Back in 1974, Joe was a very young senator and a recent widower when he purchased this former DuPont mansion for $185,000. At the time, he nicknamed the home The Station and it became his campaign headquarters for his first presidential run in 1988. Joe spent over two decades renovating the space and by the end, the home featured five bedrooms, 2.5 baths, and over 10,000 square feet of living space. 
After staying here for close to 20 years, Joe sold this home back in 1996 for $1.2 million, a substantial gain over what he paid for it. Today, estimates suggest that the home is worth as much as $1.7 million. Look, when you're a politician, sometimes you just need to get away from it all. Next up is a look at Joe's vacation home, located in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. In the summer of 2017, Joe is coming off of eight years as the vice commander in chief, and he must have been looking for a little R&R because he and his wife Jill settled on this home on the Delaware shore, scooping it up for 2.7 million. This beautiful 4,786 square foot beach house overlooks Cape Hennelepin State Park and is just a couple blocks from the beach. It features three stories, six bedrooms, 5.5 baths, expansive porches, views of the Atlantic Ocean, and a backyard built for entertaining, including an outdoor kitchen, barbecue, and fireplace to impress all those Washington socialites that Joe is close with. After buying this home, Joe said in a statement, Throughout our careers, Jill and I have dreamed of being able to buy a place at the beach at home where we can bring the whole family. We feel very lucky that we're now able to make that happen and are looking forward to spending time with our family in the place that matters most to us in the world. For those of you paying attention, 2017 is the same year that Biden's net worth catapulted upwards thanks to the speaking arrangements and book deals. So in a very real way, I think this home was a gift from Joe to Joe. When you're running for the most public office in all the land, people are going to dig up a whole lot about your past. One of the homes that middle class Joe was associated with owning was this rental home located in McLean, Virginia. In actuality, the Bidens only rented this home between 2017 and 2019, paying $20,000 per month for a home that's estimated to be worth somewhere in the $4 million range after moving out of the vice presidential residence at the Naval Observatory at the end of his term. This upscale neighborhood in Virginia is practically practically a who's who of senators, Supreme Court justices, and Washington diplomats. While staying here, Joe lived in a Georgian style house which he rented from venture capitalist Mark Ean, who previously purchased the home from Alexander Hagg, the Secretary of State during the Reagan administration. Sprawled out at over 12,000 square feet, this five bedroom beauty has its own gym, sauna, floor to ceiling windows, and a driveway that's big enough for nearly 20 cars. Despite how nice it is, in 2019 preparation for his upcoming presidential bid, Joe and his wife moved out of this home to focus on the campaign. All right guys, I think we'll bring this house tour to an end right there. What did you guys think about Joe Biden's homes? Which one of his many different paths would you prefer to stay at? Give me his beach house in Delaware and I'd be good to go. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.